Hello everyone, welcome back to Ultra's Plays Tron 2.0 Tron 2.0, Tron 2.0, Tron 2.0 Tron Are you bad dudes or what? Just shoot him. Yeah. yeah, that's alright. I'm, I'm allowed to attack you apparently. No activating. Sorry, no matter. <laughs> it's absolutely of no moment. Permissions 1 and 2. Someone had permission 5, it tells you. And you point at them that they have permission 5. That's right. Already we have got. Can you stop that? Alright. What was that? What was that? Oh, sorry for Mr. Pine. Hello. You bros are... Suck. <clears throat> Get out of here. Yeah. You think you're trained assassins or what the heck ever, and yet here's me, just some random dude. What is this thing? Who was... <laughs> uh, didn't do very well at school because he just hacked his way into every single grade. And beating the heck out of you. Despite. Not a thing, is it? <laughs> oh, waste of time. What a flipping waste of heckin' time. Turn you off? Nope. We didn't even get permission five. It didn't download. Oh, I will find another one, don't worry. Launch status is alpha. Data rates. You didn't do well, did you? There's a lot of these things, actually, you know. You have it, so it wasn't too big of a deal. Can we not... Oh. Can we not change weapon when we're downloading something? <laughs> Morton disk scan. A bit close to the bone in it. Everything seems to be about viruses, have you noticed? Everywhere we go, there's something which is virus related. <laughs> More permission five. Don't care. Give me that. Um, I mean, we do have this. Oh. I'm just going to have to make sure that we get some better energy uh, over time. I don't think we have anything more useful. We could probably put a, a weapon in, maybe? We don't have any weapons that we can put in. Um, I know that we now use a significant amount more weapon down weapon uh Well these enemies, by the way, please stop just randomly teleporting to the one side. Ow. Because well done me. Um it's really annoying. What was I saying? Something about oh yeah, we're using hundred percent more energy right now, but we seem to be okay with it. It's not a, a big deal, to be quite honest. Hello Alan. I was about to throw my disc at you because you're running around in a live fire zone. Let's have a read of these. See if they're in the right order. This also got permission 5 in it. We didn't need to worry. All system components have been installed and debugged. The server can be brought online at your request. Good, I'll pass the user on to the team. Begin launch sequence. I want this thing up and running. I'm fully loaded with data rates ASAP. Scheduled transfer onto the net is still green. What's with the status on the transmission? Excuse me, tools. Uh, you're putting these data rates on the... Well, we did learn that the whole point of them was not actually to do what they are doing, uh, but rather to commit corporate espionage. I don't know what this um, icon is. The server. The three of them must be somewhere on board. Oh, they remember this place. Well, Look at this it will be capable of handling thousands of rape pods, a full complement of escort protocols, and teams of covert net contingency programs all in one transfer. I need a peek in the server's schematics. Ah, an enthusiast. Right this way. Yes, indeed. Thank you for not even questioning that. With your slightly falling over walk. I once read a book. And the book came from the box. Because this is how video games used to be. The box which contained Lemmings 2 of the tribes. And it was a little story about Lemmings. There was one specific Lemming who visited all the tribes. And in the beach tribe, they were described as walking like they were always about to fall, flop onto a sofa that took a step before doing so. And I had no idea what that meant when I was a kid. It's the way that guy's Here walking. Here we have the SPM-3T remote performance monitoring application. 
jet the cool schematic open. is going to take some time to decipher. In the meantime, make Just your way to the server's docking tethers. I love how in these games, BT Dubs, you can jump around like a maniac and people completely ignore the fact that you're just... I can jump on this table and no one will tell me off. Dad. Alan, one. Say something. You've gone that way and you're going to do what now? What does Tab have? Make your way to the server docking tethers. I kind of could have guessed that you were going... Ooh. This is why we need a sequencer. <laughs> Apparently, we're not capable of shooting straight. I think of an energy claw twice. It's not necessary, but still valued. Uh, yes. Give me that. I was trying to put energy into it, but that's not how that works. <sighs> that's another one. These things are not even hiding. This is great. Let's uh, save it because of how reasons. Can have a look at this massive ship. You're in time? It's glowy as heck. Whoa, that was weird. I'm not allowed to move, so hopefully any... <laughs> this is turret defense from now on. We're at an angle. That's nice. Oh, I don't like it. Don't tip me off, bruh. Bruh. Just hold your balance on this thing? What's the matter with you people? Is this how normal programs are? Just excellent balance? That's not disorientating either. Don't look up. Don't look down. Just <laughs> what is happening? You're gonna tip me off, dude. No need in that. That's <laughs> so satisfying. Did you see that shot? I spent a long time mimicking this sort of level design, making Unreal levels. Unreal 1? No, Unreal Tournament, my mistake. It was Unreal Tournament. Access an IO node and receive your father's message. Um, it was Unreal Tournament. Because that was cool. It was an in it always insta give maps, what's the point in doing it now? Accessing FCON's IO grid. According to the schematics. The transfer through the massive data port has very little room for error. Any instability in the server will cause it to crash. That shouldn't oh, be too geez. hard. I've managed to crash many computers in my time. not heard of defensive programming. From a user's point of view, it's a different story from in here. Thank you. You'll need to destroy the clamps securing the server's four primary stabilizers. Just like bits. break through a firewall, for example. We can send the command for the stabilizers to disengage. And go down with the ship? No, we'll need to find Mathria and return home. Before the crash. Sounds like it'll be a close one. I'm also reminded of uh, probably brought this up before. It's a Canadian TV show called Reboot. Destroy the clamps securing the mobile service for Prime Saber. Which is gonna be Prevent us writing itself. The bits can only be ejected from the mobile service. Clamps holding them in place must be destroyed. So, if I just push these buttons, is that not going to help? Or is that where they are? That's a destroyed clamp, is it? Yep. And this is where enemies res in to attack us. What is that weird stuff going on in the corner of the screen? Oh, hello. Yep. Just hide a little bit. I may have to turn off my power amp. Are you vulnerable? Yeah. You pretend not to be vulnerable, but you are. Uh, unless you're going to spawn in some more, I'm going to go and fill up on my energy. <sighs> Mind you, this is not an infinite pool, so... Please don't hurt me any further, <laughs> I guess. We should probably not use our sequencer to min-max the energy a little bit. We should use our disc to uh, destroy this. Because the disc is the only thing that we can throw for free. I wonder if that still gets um, amplified by the thing of I'm sort of going to run over here and hide on the assumption that I will now be attacked by yet more bad dudes. 
it was so. My thingy is giving them away. Seeing this? They can't hide from me because I have that. Um, you want to tell me how to get over there, maybe? I have to get back on this. I believe I died. Oh, heck! I'd like to not be here anymore. Yeah, that was a bit risky, wasn't it? <laughs> oh no, we have to go through all that again. Ah! Back in a minute. I've had an idea. First of all, I've saved it. There you go. Um, what if we open them? <laughs> and then move. And then... Once we've done that... Like, the baddies don't show up because I opened them. And they don't seem to close. So... Let's not destroy them. I did use a lot of energy just now. On the on the boat, um, because I decided to use my lol to shoot <laughs> to, to gank those guys from a distance instead of my amazing shot that I did the first time. If we just sort of do this sort of thing, there's a full energy thingy here, right? So now we can pick off the data race up there. Who, by the way, are real people rezzed in. Um, and we have to assume that if you get derezzed as a user inside the system, uh, I'm not sure if there's any um, sort of movie canonical truth to this, but I assume that if you die, quote unquote, in the system, then you die in real life. You don't get, you know, <laughs> put back together out of your data packets or whatever was still around when you got shot that much. So, those dudes are... <laughs> we're literally killing real people and we're just a hardware hack. Which is very Gordon Freeman. Just a scientist, you know? Our engineers are currently conducting their final test on proprietary file transfer. I don't see any delays. Can you stop? Nope. Please. You were not supposed to appear without permission. And I've started doing all this stuff, huh? 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 Right, open that. Fill up on energy, fill up on health. What happens now? If I shoot all these, is that the end of the... I don't know. Because there's still one um, build point to find, which I've missed. But this is it. That's a problem. Is definitely a problem because I would like to have all everything. Right. Right, how about this? I'm worried. <laughs> I'm scared. Can I just like end you now? If I take all this out, is that all going to go to heck? It's going to fall over? Ow. Help. <laughs> Access the cargo bay sector whilst being shot. I don't think so. Ah, what? Rude. No! So that is not the way to do it. Okay, let's go. Come on! Um, otherwise, yeah, I would still have the webcam up. But at least now you can see the top right corner. You can see what I've got installed, which is kind of nothing. Most of them are weapons, I suppose. Access an IO node and receive your father's message. I've just left an IO node. Also, how does this thing know where I want to go? Is it pre programmed? These levels are so super awesome. I've been watching Minya play Mass Effect on stream, so if you don't know Minya's stream, go check it out. Uh, probably be a link somewhere, or join us on Discord, and we'll, you'll, you'll find it when we do play. Um, 
and it has a similar sort of sense of scale which I, I think is really impressive actually especially I was gonna say especially for the era I think the era of this makes it a little bit more impressive than the era of oh, I found the other thing quick uh, Mass Effect Mass Effect is much later I think I'm not gonna um, look for it now because well it'll crash the game if I try and tab out probably so we won't do that <laughs> That's very powerful. I, I won't crash the game just looking for the year of Mass Effect, but it's quite likely that it is a lot later. Since you have health and armor, I'm going to assume I can just do that. Uh, so, so having this sense of scale and all the cool aesthetics and stuff is, is very admirable for a game of this age. <laughs> That was really awful. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible at this. I've got full armor though, that's the first time for everything. I'm gonna religiously save it because it's just really boring having to go back. I don't much like save scumming, but you've seen the Quake series when I did a similar thing. Eventually you just get fed up of trying. What have we got in here? Permission 7, Permission 2. Uh, not necessary. Thank you all the same. Couldn't you have told me before I wasted my time? Accessing FCON's IO grid. I Any guess progress? not. All clamps are destroyed. This thing should go into a nice tailspin once launched. Why is that your Excellent. message to me? Meet me in the cargo base sector. It's time to board the server and find the three. Grid access terminated. Why can't I be the one to initiate a message? That was definitely me initiating a message. I had news. Can we turn this on now? Wink, 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 wink. Don't turn off while I'm on it. That would be rude. Very portal, isn't it? Moving on. Cargo base sector accessed. Nice, nice, nice. What's happening? Why are they returning? The system's failsafe is kicking we in. We learned. Something or someone is booting them off the server. Oh, I see. Is this a guy ID rest or is this? Get the doctor up immediately. We need to know what's going on. So D resing kicks you off the server. So I should be constantly being reconstructed every time I die in the game. Problem. What now? Data race number A32 regained consciousness a few moments ago. He says there's a program, probably a user, engaging our race. Tech. Is it Alan? No, Mr. Crown. Search Alan's lab server to see if anyone snuck in when we weren't looking. Mm. Oh, sorry. We can't do that. That server has been completely reformatted. All data we is We were gone. there. We ran away from that. You could probably retrieve it. I mean, it's, it's only do been your formatted. best to find out who else is in there. Will do. Uh, I'm pretty sure you only rewrote the, the you know, master boot record and file system. Oh, here we go. Um... file system uh, tables. I'm assuming this is a FAT32 system based on when. This is... Well, it's got twice as much HP, but... Oh, it should be a little bit quicker than last time. Hopefully. Um, so, um, what I'm saying is, you could probably rebuild it. The actual data is still there. You can't get me while I'm in here. We're still gonna do the thing. Oh, it crashed. So there was a crash. I've just re started basically immediately after the crash uh, I was taunting this thing saying it couldn't get me because I was hiding in a position where it couldn't get me <laughs> um, much like this I'm hoping that, that is not what crashed it because going up a game like this is it's exactly my style so if you're not going to let me play the game my way it's going to be salty I like how you can download that and then step away from it 
Who do you think he's ready for? Alan's going where now? He's telling me. This is going to be the whole fight. And I was saying before it crashed. I hope. I, I don't know if this is going to be a case of the. Uh, the the what's the name showing up? The resource box. This just says destroy. No, it's going to be data risk. So. Makes sense. Is it actually capable of shooting through these things? Doesn't seem to be. I'm not even sure what these things are. Never really got any lore for the uh, things that surround archives because these platforming facilitators. It does not like being hit in the face, does it? Just pick up. <laughs> I don't need the uh, effort of pressing a button to get them. At least absorb their goodies. You know, I don't need you to let me download everything inside them. But let me pick them up. Let me get the resources from. Them. Can you stop? My dudes, these guys are too. Annoying. <laughs> this. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna F5 it right here so that I can restart here without too much effort. Am I supposed to destroy a seeker when this data rate is literally up my jack suit? Don't get too close to the seeker. This thing's supposed to find me, not to destroy me. Don't get too close to the sea. I really want to be over here. This is my, this is my, this is my jam, baby. As long as I can stay here. Pretty much what we need. Maintain. How do you get to shoot through that? I think this showing up means that data wraiths are on it. Got a lot of HP. Do you know what I can do? I can put on the one where it makes. Yeah, this. And take off what? Take off the lol. Put this here. Like this and put on corrode. Now we get some damage over time. We'll continue to work in our favour. Even while we can't actually pay attention to the adding in question. Also, it appears to work extra in our favour because it surrounds them with a green aura. <laughs> so we can see them. Yeah, like you, for example. We should save it during the fight. How about that? What's the worst that could happen? I press caps lock. That's the worst that could happen. I do like corrosion. Just giving me extra damage on things when I'm not there to help. How many data waves in the possible game? Yeah, I think we're gonna make this. This should be fine. There's gonna be a couple of data waves to clean up afterwards, but that's okay. How many names can there be? <laughs> oh, you. Just don't step out. <laughs> Give me that! Jesus Christ! It's all right. We'll get. It. 
Are they being res back in, maybe? I haven't even been checking their names. That would be really sweet. It'd be a very cool addition if, like, when you de-res a data rape, it just comes back because they, they, you know, have the resources to do that. Just because I can see them doesn't mean I can reach the map thing. Come on. Take it. There's no indication about how many of your sequences are currently out. It would be nice to know. I see you charging in up there. Teleporting in. How come they get to res in wherever they want? Huh? I think it's really cool that there's a, a an entry in the Tron universe, even if it's not considered canonical anymore, where they intentionally send more users into the system to deal with the problem. There we go. That'll do. Boom. Secret destroy. Not even with any ceremony or anything. Access the data hauler and board the mobile server. Well, I think we'll be doing that in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Hope that you've enjoyed this episode. I managed to get through it, so that's nice. Uh, but until the next one, I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that you'll join me in the next one. And until then, thanks for watching. And I will, of course, see you then. Bye-bye.